little less leap, you know, and things like that. Oh. They're gonna go, what is this move from Nygma? They've wrapped all the way around behind the tier one tower. You can't retreat. Nygma uh -oh. has cut off the retreat, but maybe this is a fight that can't actually win because Gage after all, it's underneath the tower. GH is on his way out with a battle hunger, taking out on him, but Kaka says, hello, goodbye. First blood, thank you very much. So they actually see them as they go for the backstab on the tower. ILTW, skilled beam. Not ideal in this scenario. I imagine he would want to be playing with Aura in the laning phase, but alas, Kuro nice gets the double lead. stun for Kuro. They've already given up first blood after a while, so you know. I just, oh no. Yeah, the emo's on the other side. I think Kuro's like, did I get away? No, no, you didn't. I'm actually not sure what he's gonna do here with only a tango to work with. He actually gets a healing sound from the courier. He's gonna run it back at Kaka here. Ooh, Gets a bunch spirit. of creeps. He's gonna need some help here. Kaka may actually just die. The axe needs to come over and help him out, but he's not, he's separated by the trees. He's not gonna get there in time. GH reads it perfectly and finds an opportunity to even out the kill score just a little bit. That are reliant on stun chains to find 100 to zero kills. It just doesn't work when the five position is an easy save. GH gets rid of that battle hunger real quick and starts battling up against JT. JT hoping for spins and he gets one and manages to get the kill on GH as a result. Well, they're at the major. You get where I'm going. Yeah. I mean, this is your, in, in a way, wild card is basically your second chance to get in, right? That's how it was viewed for TI. Kaka yep. in some trouble here. It's going to hex up GH. It's got to get away. JT going to draw the aggro here on GH and hoping for a spin to be able to kill him. Doesn't quite get it. ILTW finishes off Kaka. He'll take a little bit of damage deny. from JT on the way out, but GH gets the deny of the neutral creep. Good call. Even once he gets level three for that point in hex. This uh, power rune is going to be really big, and it may be even bigger if they can kill JT, but JT actually getting the call off just before GH could hit him the first time. Takes a little bit of magic damage there. He may have to reset and head back to base with no regen on him. The power rune was a haste rune for Miracle, and he's actually going to come down to this bottom lane. Long range tornado catches Kaka, setting up the kill just beautifully. Yeah, he used a lot of mana, though, all three spells. And, uh, it's funny, they got they got a second ward that's right there up on the, the high ground, seeing that uh, that hard camp stack too. So almost doubling down on vision is fly fly in some big time trouble here. The spear doesn't even need to connect to a tree. Cuts through his heart, brings him down. And going for more damage dealing, sometimes they go max wex and play more of a playmaker. I've seen Vituses, yeah. Orchids, Witchblades. Everyone's got their own style, but this is huge. They killed Emo. They did. I saw Kuro was kind of setting up there, but it looks like uh, they just ran again. Same combo that they tried before, I believe, with the tornado into the Earth Spike. And this time around, it perfectly chain stuns the Enigma, finding an opportunity to hit this mid tower so early. A thousand gold away from a blink dagger, but mid tower, last hit by Miracle. <laughs> That's going to be a little awkward for IG, who, after all, picked up a Death Prophet. They were supposed to be the ones with the advantage. We're going to watch Super die here. Was not respecting that Nygma is still within striking distance and really should not be backing up anyway. I love this move from them. Huh, I'll wait for Hindsight to guide me because the Midas <laughs> build on Miracle. It's yeah. huge hit or miss. It certainly could be. There's an invis on the DP. He's being patient. Yeah, he's more. waiting for his opportunity to lead off. He can get a silence, and then if somebody else can follow up with an actual stun. Oh, he's going for a TP out, and that's perfect. Yule Scepter, opportunity time for them to be able to get follow-up to Sable's Miracle. Is he going to be able to get away thanks stop. to the stomp? A nice tornado and a good stomp is going to allow him to slip into the trees here. IG, they've lost their opportunity oh, to huge. kill the big Miracle Invoker. Meanwhile, top lane, the axe is going to be speared up. They're going to mass TP over here, ILTW. It's going to have to back away as Flyfly Fly, using the rest of this exorcism now trying to punish the Mars. He throws the silence out on ILTW. Looks like he went we'll there. Three man stop. Immediately they go for the blow up on JT. They get it too. A spear onto the Death Prophet. Super. He doesn't actually have an aphotic shield right away. So Flyfly Fly is actually in trouble here. He goes and throws the spear siphon onto the centaur and onto GH to try and heal a little bit more. And it looks like it's going to be Super who's left behind. The two supports dying there and the offlaner of IG, Nigma. Finding kill opportunities on both sides of the map. Once again, smoking to this bottom area of the map. Have their spells up in 20. They really were hoping to find an easy pink off that can turn into maybe pressuring this mid-tower, but uh, 
Well, they may still have this weird opportunity where Nygma is going to smoke to them here. They're going to smoke into their own jungle and it's going to break right here. Super is going to be first target. Tornado EMP, so they can't really go for him directly as he's going to be forced to pop his ultimate. Kaka stuck in this cliff area, caught they by hope. ILTW. He's going to pop the Eclipse. Hemo, he jumps into it. So much magic damage. He's being overwhelmed, but he does manage to at least get that off the Ghost Sifter's magic damage phase and more sinister strength. He's getting a bit of time here. A stomp to finish off Super. Boom, there he goes. Slept up on JT as well. So they're going to stall out long enough for the next round of spells to come through and finish off this offlaner again. IG losing fight after fight. Nygma continues to control the game. Oh my god, what a game. Nygma, I haven't seen them play this well. Like of all the times to turn up, GH has had near flawless position to stop barely catching JT. That gives them an extra exit kill. Otherwise, they would have claimed only the supports. 13 to 3. Oh, oh lead, Nygma's but... like, keep it going, yep. keep it going. Oh, the timings on these smokes. They know there's no exorcism. It's a huge window, and Fly Fly farming just above them. If they can find a miracle once again. Oh, slips Ooh. by. They, oh, no, they didn't quite spot him. He saw, he saw the slow. He saw the slow on the creep. Oh, he sees the creep slow down, knows that Miracle's here. Emo's going to back off as well. Now, they may still be able to catch Kaka here. He's kind of in no man's land. Spotted, but he actually gets the disable first on Akuro. Kuro turns around, immediately hexes up Emo, but they're in hot pursuits here. The Tornado trying to create a little bit of space, but a long range Earth Spike coming out from Emo as he turns into the lion and catches the captain of Team Nygma. Now, they got to back out into their tier one tower unless Miracle actually gets caught here. JT does have his blink dagger. It looks like Miracle in some trouble. The spear arena combination is not going to be good enough to save him. Miracle goes down a dominating streak, going back to JT who desperately needed it. This is so dangerous. If he gets the right kind of blink dagger initiation, you can see they're being a bit skittish here. They're not sure whether or not they want to keep this going. No arena. This is very risky. They're going to get the initiation onto Kuro here. This opening pick, they may That's still be able to get to the Roshan. Tower's going to fall. Kuro's going to fall. Are they, they taking this Roshan fast enough? Looks like they will. In fact, IG may even know and just be disregarding it and saying, look, look, I mean, look where the Death Prophet is, man. Yeah. He's right next to the tier two. They're saying, let them have this Roshan. We're not going to play for this. We're going to just split the map. I mean, this is right on brand for Invictus Gaming. Looking for Miracle to see, oh, GH is on him. He's on him. He hit him with the spirit. He knows he's here somewhere, and he's going to find him. He throws out the Earth Splitter to make sure JT is going to be caught somewhere here with no opportunity to be able to teleport away. A lot of space and time being created by that death. Though. The veteran captain of Kuro, no doubt, look, look, look. calling for his team to play defensive right now. <laughs> I wonder what their next target is, Cap, as three wards are now placed, all surrounding yes. the mid tower. They smoke out. They want to use the They're age of 17 seconds. Into left. this ward area, and it's going to break on the low ground here. They try and make their jump. Mind Control does manage to get the spear onto JT, and they're surrounded inside the arena. The Whoa. Death Prophet, they get blown up by all this damage, and Fly Fly doesn't get any damage after the exorcism. ILTW challenging anybody who comes across from IG, and Emo's on his way out, turns around. Nice, nice Earth Spike as he uses that haste rune to get out of here. Super not going to be as lucky, though, slowed down by a nuke. And should be able to finish him off. Good hit from Nygma. A great smoke and fast reactions from Mind Control specifically as their smoke breaks. He finds a great arena. And then trying to go toe to toe with the morph. Yeah, 39 plus 2. Yeah. <laughs> Melee range of ET, that's just plus 2. Yep, yep. No, he's definitely going to have to be very careful. And that's why he's got this Blink Dagger. They're going to go. Magic damage burst on Mind Control. But mass rotations are coming from Nygma. They're looking to catch somebody here. And they're going to find JT. JT doesn't get the Blink away fast enough. The Spirit hits him first. And now Nygma, they've got a freebie. They've got the trade off of offlaners. You take that. Control. They take the triangle and Roche is up. This is a Death Prophet and a Morphling. They smoke back, exactly. Yep. Go right back into the area, you're regrouped. This could be it. The five on five around the Roche, but second row, shard available, 27 minutes in. You've got a gold lead, but this is the fight you need to take. IG not trying to sneak a Roshan here, otherwise they'd get caught inside the pen, go back to their own high ground here. Nygma, of course, full of confidence, approach. They break immediately, super. He's gonna be the one to break, and he's okay with this. The arena's been used just for him, and he's gonna pop his ultimate. Cat here comes the Cataclysm, big Ooh. shots coming out. Fly, fly down to half, save goes with Emo. They're battling it out. ILTW throw, drops his ultimate, but the BKBs are allowing them to pursue through. Oh, Emo gets blasted. His BKB wears down the Earth Splitter. Snaps him in half, and there goes Super as well. And a die back, die back. Okay, IG get wiped in this team fight. Nigma, head a full head of steam, are just gonna barrel down the mid lane. They say, screw oh Roshan, let's you, go for the throat. 
You talk about playing a win, Cat. They just ran up the high ground blind, dropped the arena on the hard support, missed the spear, just praying somebody would land in front of it. Miracle somehow survives, leading the entire IG team on a wild goose chase. There are buybacks available. But this is a Luna. This is a Lacrid. He's got drunk. They've They're got no fight. buybacks, Kyle. They're, like, do you go thrown? Nigma might just you go might. thrown here. Oh, do it. Start They're hitting it. About no it. one buying That's back. That's a lot of bounces. There's no they're doing it. Yeah, they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. They're gonna go for it right here. Nigma, Luna destroys tier four oh towers. IG, they're not gonna be here fast enough. Shadow Shop is gonna buy back now. No He's clip. like, I gotta slow this down, but he can't get there in time. They're the doing Spirit's it. gonna stop his blink dagger. He's gonna stop to try and make sure the Shadow Shaman is gonna be here in time. He's not gonna be here in time. Nigma, they are getting out of the wild card and they're going to the group stage. Oh my god, look at the pop off. They did it the hardest way possible. You cannot ask extra games necessary, not just in the tiebreaker. Oh my Play god. Play secret I... twice? No, make that three times. Play an extra best of one tiebreaker against a team that yep. do owed you. And show up and rock them. Absolutely rock them. 28 minutes in, one team fight, one good smoke, the whole team on point, not a single mistake.